in this video. I want to share with you a WordPress search plugin. I've just installed it on my website, bestroofbox.com, and it's really cool. You can basically add a search box wherever you like. You can have a search box in the WordPress menu. I guess you'd call that a menu search box or something like that. Uh, you can add it anywhere within your content. You can add it to a sidebar, in a widget, whatever you like. It uses short code, so it's really easy to add and it's compatible with all the main page builders like Elementor. One of the main reasons I like it is because it's an AX search box. I think that's how you pronounce it. Basically what that means is that as people start typing stuff into the search box, it displays the results straight away and it displays them in a really nice layout. Got the featured image and yeah, they just look really great. And in fact, they're customizable as well. So you can have them vertical or horizontal or you know, however you like. The plugin is really easy to install and set up and then you can customize it to your heart's content. So let me show you um, what I've been doing with it and some of the options and some of the things that you can do. Let's go. Hello, it's Alex here from WP Eagle. Hope you're all well. So first things first, you need to get yourself a copy of the plugin. It's available over on Code Canyon. I'll put a link up in a card now. You'll also find a link in the description. It's an affiliate link, so if you use it, I will earn a small commission. Thank you very much, I really appreciate it. But yeah, head over to Code Canyon. It's currently on sale. So you can pick up the plugin for just $21. It's normally $36, so that's quite an impressive saving. Once you have purchased it, you just download it onto your computer. You then want to extract the zip file that you download, and then within there, there is another zip file, and that's the one that you're going to upload to WordPress. You can do that just by going into the plugin section within WordPress and then clicking add new and then selecting that zip file on your computer. Once it's uploaded, you just got to activate the plugin and then you're ready to create your search box. And in fact, you can have as many search boxes as you want. Maybe you want a search box for your posts and another one for your WooCommerce products, you know, whatever you like, you can have as many as you want. Create your first search box. You just simply type in a name for that search box. I'll use something descriptive so that you know which one's which and then click add, and then you can dive into the different options. There are quite a few options in here. I'm not gonna go through each one of them. I'm just gonna show you some of the more important ones, some of the ones that you're probably gonna to wanna to adjust. First is the sources. So you've got a load of flexibility in terms of the content that this search box is gonna return when someone does a search. So for me, I've just gone for posts because the bulk of my content is posts. I don't want pages coming up. But maybe you're running a WooCommerce shop or you've got some other custom post type that you want um, it to index and for it to return when someone does a search, you can simply just move them into the relevant column. You can even include things like attachments and uploads within the search results if you want. The next options you're probably going to want to take a look at are the layout options. In here, you can decide your placeholder. So that's a little bit of text that's in the box before someone types. You can adjust the alignment. You can also have a play around with the results layout and you've got options for, for the mobile and tablets and, and all that kind of stuff. Usual things that you'd expect. This plugin is really flexible, so you're gonna be able to get a look and feel that fits your website perfectly. Speaking of look and feel, the plugin comes with a whole load of different themes to get you started. I chose one and then I customized it a little bit just so that it fitted with my site. But yeah, you can choose a theme and then you can change the color, you can change the fonts, you can change the borders, you can change the shadow, you can basically change whatever you like. You may not want to change anything because the themes are actually really good looking and there's so many to choose from, you'll probably find one that can just slot straight into your site and look fantastic. The final options though I'll show you that are pretty cool are the auto-complete and the suggestions options. In here you can basically control the suggestions that are returned when someone starts typing in, they can either come from Google keywords or from your post titles. Now I've set mine to post titles. I think that's more kind of obvious and more relevant that when someone types stuff in, it will only return suggestions based on the content that I've got on my site. Now I've dropped this new plugin onto my homepage using the Elementor shortcode widget. So basically just add that widget and then copy and paste the shortcode from the plugin options and it worked perfectly. In terms of look and feel, I went for the Max UI blue horizontal theme, and then I changed the blue to orange to match uh, the best roof box kind of look and feel and the color scheme that I'm using. And I increased the font size um, quite a bit. 
and the height of the search box just so that it looked nice and big and proud on the home page. I also created a second search box which I added to the menu and that's really easy to do as well. You just go into your menus and you add a custom link, add a little hash as the URL and then paste the shortcode into the navigation label. So that brings us to the end of this video. A really cool little plugin. I think it kind of enhances the overall search experience that people have on your website. Certainly worth checking out if you're still just using the default WordPress search. I'd love to know what you're using on your sites. Do leave me a comment below. Do read all the comments that I get and I'll try to reply to as many as I possibly can. To make sure that you don't miss out on future videos or future live streams, do click the subscribe button, make sure you click the bell and you should get a notification from YouTube when one of those two things happens. And if you like this video, if you enjoyed it, if it helped you out in any way, please click the like button. That really does help me out. Until next time, bye for now.